I'm Nguyen Goodman, born again Christian, anointed, one of my woman of God, you know, and um, one who just really loves God, and I love delivering my messages through music. Down through the years, um, when I began singing music, I found out that if there's no ministry within it, then you're really not doing anything because it's all for the glory of God. And, and I use my music to reach people. You know, I, I take what I've been through in life and how I found deliverance and I find it in the songs that I write to help other people. Well, I have a song that's called, In My Life, Jesus, He's the Best Thing. And in this particular song, it talks about how people let you down, even you know, your siblings, your mother, your father, as sometimes they're nowhere to be found, and, but you can always call on Jesus. He's always there. And this song really meant a whole lot to me because after I reflected back and I looked back and I thought about what is it that kept me going, it was just His grace. So that particular song, In My Life, He's the Best Thing. Well, yes, I have. And you know, it's, it's funny that you mentioned that because in the song, and some of the lyrics, it says, even though um, I've had some downs, the downs have been few. And um, my uptime in my life is when I thought I couldn't see my way through, and I thought that the sickness that I had, that I would never heal, that, you know, this was it. Um, God just reached down, cleaned me up, He healed me, and, and here I am today. You know, I, I took a a turn I had like the, the breast cancer thing that I went through for four and a half years. It was horrible. And it was like everybody just forgot about me. But in the midst of that, I still just trusted God for everything. I never gave up. I kept singing and, and he lifted me back up, you know, and, um, and I went through some uh, personal things, you know, divorce. Um, I guess husband couldn't deal with that, with the sickness. And I lost everything that I had in the midst of all this also. And um, here I am. You know, it's been two years, I'm clean, I'm up, I'm running, I'm purified, and I'm ready. Right, when you say the people, they look at it, they see the glitter, the shine. Um, but for me, in my ministry, the only thing that ever glittered was the dress I had on. And when I, when I was done, I took the dress off, and the reality of life was still there. And the music ministry part of it, it's not easy because people have such an expectancy of you and they feel like you don't have problems or you can't relate to what it is that you know they're going through. But if they listen close to the music, and my motto is the message is in the music, and then they'll find that. But it's not a lot of glitter and shine and it's hard because sometimes you wanna go right, but you should've went left. And um, somewhat like crawdads in a bucket. It depends on where, you know, where you land. Um, by the time you think you're up, then you're down. You know, by the time you think that you're going through, then you're backed up. And you just really have to just keep at it. You have to really keep at it. If, if it's in your heart, you know, if it's in your heart and, and it's an assignment, because for me, my music is an assignment from God. And you just have to keep pushing, you know, pressing your way through it. Well, right now I'm, I'm, I'm working on a new CD and like I said, it's been uh, a couple of years for me and I'm working on a, a new CD called My Story. And um, when I say my story, it's, it's basically about the ups and downs of my life, the, the turmoils, the disappointments, the rejections. And, and so it basically is to help people who really think they can't make it or to think that this is it, that it's over. And in this song, it's just God just began to minister to my spirit and I began to just seek Him more. And the majority of my songs on this particular project, it's about my life in the last seven years of what I went through and, and it's called My Story. And um, I made it. I'm here now, you know. Um, Critics said that I, I should have been dead a long time ago, and I'm still here, you know, and it's only by the grace of God. And there are songs, they're inspirational songs, and um, some are traditional, and um, there's one song in particular that it's, Dear Jesus, I need you to help me with this. And there were some things that I didn't understand that I was going through, and I really had to ask God to help me. 
because of that. I started singing at um, age seven in my father's church. That's when I really discovered I could sing. Back then they had the Dr. Watts songs and, and they were singing and one Sunday morning and he's a pastor and they were singing and, and when they finished singing, it, something just touched me. And I just kept singing this Dr. Watts song and I screamed across the pulpit, I can sing, I can sing. And, uh, and I've been doing it ever since, but the ministry part for me began at age 16. And um, I'm proud to say right now I'm, I'm currently 53. And um, I've never quit. I can't give up, I won't stop, and I'm not tired yet. What, a, what a, uh, encouraging advice would you give to younger artists? There's, you know, they, they're, they're constantly coming, there's, there's young right. artists also. The advice that I would like to give to them is, you know, the same advice that I've been giving for years to the local young people. Let it be ministry. And they have to understand that it's not about them, that it's about Christ. And I think that's where we get all mixed up and turned around, you know, just like you said, the glitter of it. They think it's glitter and some they take it as a performance. Well, we got to perform really well tonight and we have to show showmanship. And I just want to let them know that there's no performance in Christ. There's no showmanship. It's got to be real. It's got to be real. And I often tell them, if there's no ministry in it, then you have nothing. And that's how I feel. You know, and that's, I just encourage them to, to just let go and let God be led by the Holy Spirit. You know, and sometimes uh, that's left out. And they figure, and it just like circular music. So, well, they made it and maybe I can make it in gospel. No. You have to be anointed for it. And it has to be an assignment that comes from God. And I've learned that a lot of us have talent. But we have to separate talent from gift. And with the talent, you sing like an angel. But with the gift, you sing with the anointing. What's, what's next for you? What's next for me is that I'm praying that my new project will go platinum. That it will go platinum and it's my desire to just run as fast as I can, jump as high as I can, and just go deeper and deeper and deeper in the Lord and go to higher heights in my ministry. You know, even at 53, I feel like this is just the beginning. And the reason I say that is because we have to suffer and go through some things. And when you go through so much, you go through so much, you go through so much and you have to in order to get to this point for such a time as this.